Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jay coming at you with another vlog. This time I'm recording this from Denver, Colorado, which is quite far from my home in Michigan. And what the heck am I doing out here? Well, Denver is the home of System76, my favorite computer company. I actually entered the System76 Superfan 2 contest, The Legend of the Lake, as it's subtitled. And surprisingly, I'm actually one of the winners. I, I couldn't believe it when I got the email that I was one of the winners selected to come out here and take part in this contest, which is basically an appreciation day for uh, System 76's customers. Uh, this time around, we all had to create uh, something. Um, there's a lot of cool creations that were sent into System 76. So mine was a System 76 welcome screen based on Ubuntu Mate welcome. Of course, I gave credit to uh, Ubuntu Mate for that. But um, basically what I did is I created a little wrapper around that that was basically System 76 themed. They liked that and they decided to fl fly me out here. And um, actually the System 76 Super Fan Contest, the majority of it, was earlier today. So I'm actually recording this after I had already um, you know, finished most of the festivities. So while I was there in the office, I recorded some footage and I decided that I'm going to put it together in a video and share it with you guys. Now the problem is, um, I'm sure most of you that have watched my channel before, you probably have noticed I don't do any video editing. And that's just because I really don't know how to do that. I've just never practiced with it. I haven't had a chance to get good at it. So I think this is going to be my very first opportunity um, to actually uh, you know, edit a video and just put some clips together and just see what comes out. So I apologize if this video is totally amateur hour. I'm sure it will be. I can tell you right now that some of the footage, uh, some of the voices are hard to hear because there's a lot of commotion because it's a party. So um, everybody's talking and having a, a good time. So it's going to be a little bit hard to hear some of the words. So I apologize for that. So um, let's go ahead and get right into the video. I'm going to show you the System76 office. I'm going to take a walk around in there. I'm going to show some equipment off and it's going to be a fantastic video. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I figured I would show you through a tour of System 76. We're here in Denver. This is Suite 360, and I'm going to walk in the doors and give you guys a little overview of what we have going on here right now. So basically, this is, as I mentioned before, the System 76 Super Fan Contest. So this is more or less kind of like a happy hour going on right now. So that's, you know, everyone's standing around having a really good time, but this is um, basically the office. So um, I'll just go through some of the workstations here. Uh, I'm actually really impressed by all the decorations and the cool ways in which people set up their environments here. So I'll just take a little quick look around here. Um, and we have some a little, looks like steam running right here, which is just awesome. And I'll go through here, and this is the laptop that's running the games that are on the screen there. So uh, definitely, like I said, a laid back work environment. And of course, we have some drinks for this happy hour. Um, so definitely pretty cool. We were well taken care of for sure. So now we're seeing some collaboration here going on. That's awesome. Some more workstations just going around. As we see, um, definitely some really awesome setups here. Another standing convertible desk, which is great. And I'll go through here, show off some more stuff that we have. And in here we have the Hall of Legends. So some of the stuff was actually taken down because um, we needed some room here to uh, record um, so, some other videos that we have here. But we have some interesting facts. For example, we have this uh, cool um, Ubuntu logo graphic right here that has some words that explain some of the things that makes Ubuntu as great as it is. And we have some use cases here. So um, the Indy Police Department um, is apparently using System76 hardware, as you see here, powered by System76. So when a company uses uh, System76 for various things, they, they go here to the Hall of Legends. So um, right here we have a lemur running. And a uh, quick little note right here, Virginia Tech Laptop Orchestra is powered by Ubuntu and is entirely performed and developed on 20 System76 lemur laptops. So, 
When I actually came into this room, there was a video playing here, um, actually showing this orchestra, but of course uh, we had some playtime. That's actually me checking out the CPU info on this uh, model for an earlier video. So um, right here we have an Oryx Pro, which I will be looking at in better detail coming up here very soon. And um, some other information here. Um, this um, stuff right here is actually supposed to be over there. But we have a, um, here's another laptop, I actually forgot the name of this one off the top of my head. But we have a quick note here, it's actually telling us that Pixar uses powerful, powerful computers such as the System76 Bonobo, so I guess that's a Bonobo. And um, that's basically talking about Pixar's use of System76's hardware. And Pixar is actually one of the more popular examples of uh, use of System76 hardware in the wild. So. Heading out here, we have the KB Lake area, or the Lake of KB as we're calling it. Um, I'll get more into the different um, things here in just a moment. But uh, one thing I did want to look at, um, actually I was going to show you guys the Oryx Pro, but it's gone, so I'll show you guys that um, coming up here in a moment. But this is a demonstration area for various machines that are, are, are either out or coming soon, so this is definitely a great area to be in. And in here, um, Besides the fact we have a mace, which I actually think is the one that I was using. Um, this is actually a cool photo booth where several pictures were taken during the uh, Super Fan Contest. So um, there's actually a photo booth software running on here. It's not running on here right now, but we had um, a lot of group pictures done through this machine. It's actually running a Meerkat, as you see right there. Um, Logitech keyboard it looks like so this is basically a photo room as I as I is pretty sure what that is and uh, Yeah, so definitely some really cool stuff here, so I will have some more footage in just So I'm here with Cassidy at system 76 So go ahead and tell us a little bit about what your role is here and what you get yourself into so I'm a uh, primarily web developer. I also do some UX design here for uh, some of our backend systems on our front end of our website. Uh, I am the, the, ha the front end half of our web development team. So we also have Ben, who usually sits here, who's uh, our back end developer. And so together we do everything that customers see on, on our website um, and all of our tools that our employees use, actually, um, all the back end tools and everything that they use, we write as well. So that's uh, the sales and support system and uh, anytime anybody places an order, it goes through our website, even if they do it over the phone. Uh, that's just a salesperson typing it on our website. That's true. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So it looks like you're rocking the Galago Ultra Pro, the classic. Yeah, yeah. So you got a Galago uh, and two external displays, one with uh, HDMI display port and Atom. And I switch frequently between Google Chrome and Firefox and uh, the web browsers. So nice choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah abs all. absolutely. So. Great. Well, it's been nice meeting you. So uh, again, uh, everyone, we're at, we're at the uh, System76 Super Fan Contest. So I'm going to be going around and we're going to be seeing some more people here. So thanks for the... Uh, Thank you. Okay, I'm here with April and Ben. So what do you call this room here that we're in right now? This is the living room. The living room. So how many workplaces have something cool like this? You know, on your break, lunch, whatever it is you're doing, or after work, spending some quality time, playing some games. That is awesome. So what game is it that we're actually playing right now? Nuclear Throne. Nuclear what? Nuclear Throne. Nuclear Throne. So, so what's the actual premise here? Uh, you're a bunch, a bunch of mutants in a post-apocalyptic wasteland who are just fighting to survive. And uh, basically you have to shoot at things until they die. Shooting things until they die. That explains a lot of games right there. So, so what do you do here for uh, for System 76? Uh, I am in tech support. Okay. I uh, help all of our customers with their issues with hardware and software and everything in between. Uh, I see a lot of. I also write a lot of documentation. Uh, so James and I work on the support page a lot. So uh, James and I support and I. Pretty much handle all our support along with Emma. Also, customer support and sales. 
last night you were here. Awesome. Well, it's great, great to have you. So I'm going to step over here. This, we have a little party here, a little happy hour. So if you don't mind, tell us what you do here. I'm uh, one of our web, two de web developers. Okay. Um, I do most of the most of the parts of the website you don't see. Um, so the API, the back end, all that interesting stuff. Um, try, and, try and keep everyone working. Try and keep everything running. And, um, Moving up That's awesome. So here we have some more footage of Nuclear Throne. How cool is this? I've never seen this game before, but I think I'm actually going to check it out. All right, so now I'm here with Sarah. Say hi. Hi. So tell us what you do here for System 76. So I am the production unicorn. And basically what that means is I help everybody with all the little things that they maybe don't have time to do. Um, so I with the free stickers that people will send in for. I help update our catalog when we have changes. Um, I help run events like this. So cool. it's a lot of fun and I get to help in a lot of different ways. It keeps me on my toes. <laughs> That's awesome. And, and here we have Sarah's workstation. We have a standing convertible desk here, dual yep. screens. Um, and this just... Efficient. Yeah, this just... Um, underscores the uh, the work environment here at System 76. As you see here, um, the workstations are phenomenal. A lot, a lot of fans assist, of standing desks, dual screens, uh, laid back work environment. So I'm sure that kind of makes things a lot easier. And it is, uh, yeah. And it's and we don't have cubes or anything like that. It just makes it really easy to collaborate with each other. Absolutely, no walls in between exactly. everybody. So that makes everything. So so is that basically one of the many things that you love here? Like, what are some of the things that you love about working here? Um, the people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody's really cool, and I'm not somebody who knows Linux too well. Um, oh, wow. They were really, really helpful with like, getting me up to speed on a bunch of stuff, and now cool. I'm yes. using Darktable instead of Photoshop for minor edits to photos and stuff nice. like that. Nice. So, um, yeah, like, it's, been, it's been really fun learning all this from all these people who are super knowledgeable about all, all things Linux yeah. and Ubuntu. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. No problem. Hi, I'm here with Louisa. Say hi to everybody. Hi. So, what do you do here at System 76? I do marketing here at System 76. Okay, what are some of the things that you love about the environment and working here? So, I love that we have a very passionate team. Everybody is very passionate about what they do. They are all um, experts in their roles and very collaborative. Um, but the biggest thing is that everyone is very passionate about Linux and open source. And so, I think that gets uh, missed a lot from the outside. And so, um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Um, so, um, the really cool thing about that is that everyone believes very much in the company. They believe very much in open source. And um, whenever you're speaking to you know, social media or Twitter or Facebook or um, any of our blog posts, you are talking not to just one person, you're speaking to everyone here at the company. And so everyone will pitch in. Um, it's really great when everyone believes in the Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. I'm Carl Michelle, founder of System76, and we're specializing in producing Ubuntu laptops, desktops, and servers. So, all right, I'm going to show you some of our products. So, all right. With the Reamer. This is our ultra portable 14 inch uh, laptop that comes with either an i5 or i7 processor. It's based on Intel's 7th generation CPUs. And what, we're, this, what this event is about is um, introduce the customers to the new products that are arriving. So, uh, the 6th generation was uh, Sky Lake from Intel, 7th generation is coming out, and we're refreshing all our products now. Uh, the neighbor is refreshed and, uh, and should be a Right now it's running Unity 8, so some people can play with, with where Unity. Today. Awesome. Uh, what do we have here? This is our Gazelle. Uh, our Gazelle is um, our 15 inch mainstream laptop. Uh, this this one is running on six generation processors, however, it's being refreshed now. And mid March to late March, there'll be a new Gazelle featuring a backlit keyboard. Um, 
uh, the uh, seventh generation processors and up to uh, 32 gigs of data. Nice. So, sounds sounds very powerful. So this is where the uh, Oryx Pro would be if it wasn't actually being borrowed for another video by someone else. But maybe you might want to tell us a quick uh, blurb about that the one. The Oryx is our flagship. It is a, a high power 15 inch laptop, either 15 or 17 inch, with up to 4K displays, a backlit keyboard that's multicolor, as well as uh, up to 64 gigs of memory and an NVIDIA GTX 1060 or 1070 GPU. Uh, it's moving to the seventh generation processors. Uh, starting Next week, so Thursday, I believe, is the 16th. Will be when the new works. Awesome. Uh, this is the Serval WS. WS stands for Workstation. Uh, this is our 11th iteration of the work of the Serval. Uh, it is uh, uh, now featuring seventh generation processors. So seventh generation processors are available on it today. What makes this product unique is that it's not only uh, uh, not only uh, the latest 10 series GPUs, but also a desktop CPU. Awesome. So it's uh, uh, so it's as fast as a desktop computer, but in a laptop. Great. Wow, that's awesome. So if you're compiling code or you're uh, or anything that you're working on is CPU bound, then this makes an incredible difference for what you're doing. Um, next is the, the Bonobo. The Bonobo is is very similar to the, the Servo. It's being refreshed to seventh generation. I expect it to be released on the 16th as well. The uh, uh, the Bonobo's key feature is that it features uh, dual GPU. So up to two 1080 GTX, uh, or GTX 1080 GPUs. Wow. Uh, the server would be your, your pick if you don't need dual GPUs. You move the Bonobo if you do. That would be things like uh, deep learning and neural networks, um, uh, gaming in some instances, uh, as, as well as um, uh, CAD work and other graphics or floating point things. Awesome. Wow, look at this. Get to see the insides. Looks like it's liquid cooling, am I right? That's right. Uh, this is liquid cooled. This is our Silverback. This is a workstation class product. Uh, dual Xeon CPUs, up to three GPUs. Um, and it comes uh, water cooled by default. Nine drives, so a massive amount of storage. And I believe it's 1.2 terabytes of memory. Wow. So, uh, yeah, you can see the RAM slots right there. There's actually uh, quite a few open slots there, but so wow, we could really spec this guy up with a lot of RAM. Uh, it's uh, commonly used for deep learning as well as um, other, uh, other compute intensive areas and can be used for, for GPU computing as well with up to three Titan GPUs. Three, three, you can have uh, actually a uh, uh, Titan GTX as well as two Teslas. Awesome. Uh, this is our, our Wild Dog. This is our mainstream desktop. It's made out of aluminum and, and uh, uh, it's all aluminum and brushed. It features um, Intel H Class desktop CPUs, up to 64 gigs of RAM. Um, I believe it is 10 terabytes of storage. Wow. Wireless network. It's our, it's our mainstream flagship desktop. Awesome stuff. Next is our, uh, next is our Meerkat. This is our Ultra Mini desktop. So uh, this this product is not out yet, but it will be released in April. Okay. Um, so early April, early to mid April, um, it will feature i3, i5, or i7 processors in two different um, form factors: a short and a tall form factor. The uh, a short will feature up to i5 processors and an M2 drive, so that gets you up to two terabytes of storage. The uh, tall version will have options up to i7 as well as two and a half plus m2 drives so that gets you about uh, 10 7 so, so awesome nice storage. awesome and that's coming in april uh that is uh and that's the line that we have right now so you like that. awesome thank you so much you're welcome I am here with Ryan. So, Ryan, tell us a little bit about what you do here at System76 and what you like most about working here. Sure. I'm the community manager here at System76. I also do quite a bit of PR and marketing here. Uh, what I do here is pretty ephemeral. I talk to people, I get their feedback on our products, and I see what I can do to make System76 better while also answering questions of the fans and community members. Awesome. And, and what do you like most about working here? What I like most about working here is that this is the first time when I've worked with 
people who really understand the value of open source software and they're really interested in creating something that benefits everyone. Uh, and I mean that in the most broad sense. Uh, my favorite thing about open source software is that it does benefit everyone. Mm -hmm. And I mean that very broadly. It benefits all the, someone from Silicon Valley all the way to somebody who has just discovered open source software in Bangladesh. And so the, the thing that I enjoy here is that everyone I work with understands the value of open source software and wants open source software to succeed and wants to have a solid hardware platform on which to run open source software. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, no problem. So I am back here in the Hall of Legends. And speaking of legend, I have in front of me the Oryx Pro. This is System 76's premier laptop. It's their flagship. This is the one that everyone wants. This one comes in a 15 inch or a 17 inch variant. And right in front of me, I have the 15 inch version. So what I figured I would do is just get a, um, a quick look at this and I, I don't want to call this a review because I haven't actually spent any time with this unit yet um, obviously this is not my Oryx Pro this is the uh, this is a System76 floor model that I decided to grab and take into this room and take a look at so um, let's take a look real quick so um, as you could I can I hope it comes out in the video but we have a backlit keyboard I did spend some time typing on this thing because the keyboard is very very important important to me because you know I'm a writer so I can actually wear a keyboard out if I'm not careful and I've never been able to wear a keyboard out on a system 76 product um, but the keyboard on this one feels really 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 nice I love the key travel it's an absolute pleasure to uh, type on and as always we have the Ubuntu logo key um, you can see here we have Nvidia G-Sync and one of the things I want to mention though is I don't actually have a spec sheet for this particular model. So I don't actually know what's in it. I did spend some time um, playing around with it, but I didn't actually do a deep dive. Another reason why I don't want to call this an actual review. But um, from what I understand, this is a 4K display and it actually looks glorious. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And I totally guessed the password. I'm such a hacker. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. And I did some a little bit of customization to this one. Um, I asked them, um, well, how does GNOME 3 run on this guy? Because the thing is, um, they did a lot of work to get Ubuntu to work on a 4K display, and they've done a great job. But I wanted to challenge this machine and actually run GNOME 3 on it, and that's what I have here right now. So when you buy this machine, obviously you're getting Ubuntu on it, an Ubuntu custom tailored to work on a 4K display. But one thing that I like about System76 is that they actually um, push their changes upstream. So that means that the changes that they make to get their hardware working actually is pushed upstream for other people to benefit from. So um, I believe with Ubuntu 1604.2, um, it's actually going to include those changes upstream for those of you that have a 4K display and don't necessarily have System76 hardware. So, um, loading this, I actually just, um, again, I loaded GNOME on it, and you can see that everything actually looks really, really smooth. Again, I'm not sure how clear it's going to come out in the video, but the display looks great. But again, you're not going to get uh, GNOME out of the box here. You're going to get Ubuntu, or yeah, Ubuntu's Unity. So I'm going to go ahead and log out here. And back at the login screen, I am going to choose the Unity interface instead of GNOME. So I'm going to click this little icon right here. So I'll, I'll zoom in there. And I am going to click on Ubuntu. I'm going to log in again with a super secret password here. Bet you can't guess what it is. And I will log in here and wait for it to come up. So basically you're going to get Ubuntu out of the box. Now the thing is this is a floor model so some customizations were changed. You can see like the top panel actually looks funny. Before I started playing around with this thing it actually looked perfect. So I probably take the blame for the way that the um, uh, system actually looks with that white border on the top that I, that is there for some unknown reason. You can see like the 
theme is there. And actually, I think the reason why this is happening is because someone was actually playing around with Unity 8 on it. So again, um, it's not going to look like this for um, you know you, but this machine is great. Um, it is a little on the heavy side. I don't have a um, a scale handy to to tell you guys exactly how heavy it is. Um, but overall, this is a phenomenal machine, and I would love to own one, and hopefully someday I do. But for right now, I'm going to take this floor model back to the floor so other people can have some playtime with it. Well, there you have it. That was my System76 office tour. I just want to give a shout out to the System76 staff for making this happen, for flying all of us out here, for inviting us into their office, showing us what they were working on, allowing us to make new friends and connections. This has been an incredibly memorable experience, and I'm so flattered that I was able to be a part of this. So I didn't mention this in the video before, but in case you didn't notice, this was a fantasy-themed party, so I even got this cool character sheet. I was an elf cleric for this party, which is pretty awesome. I'm not even sure if the camera is actually focusing on this right now because I can't see the viewfinder, so I'm just going to hope that it is. But basically, we all had costumes and we all had roles to play during this uh, party, so it was just awesome. And I also want to give a thank, a thank you and a shout out to all of you, my viewers. Um, this wouldn't be possible without you guys. Um, I definitely appreciate all of you for liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. Um, I do this for you guys, so this has been, the YouTube experience has been a very good experience for me as well. So stay subscribed to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that. I have new videos coming out. Um, I don't have an actual timeline right now. I'm going to say within a week or two I should have something out, and then hopefully I'll be uploading uh, more often from that point forward. So um, as always, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was a pleasure. This is a great trip. And um, I definitely recommend System76 computers. If you don't already know about them, they are an awesome computer vendor that makes Ubuntu-based laptops that work great out of the box. So definitely check them out. Um, System76.com, see what they, uh, they have um, up for offer. And uh, with that said, thanks again for watching.